Whatever you're ready. Yeah, let's pull them up. All right. Hello, everybody. I'm Alex Acevedo. I'm here with your January Women's Baller of the Month, Alexis Schultz from the University of Akron. Alexis, congratulations. How does it feel? Um, I definitely feel honored to be um, selected for this because I know that there's a lot of talented women in the league. So just to be recognized for it is, means a lot to me. <laughs> So uh, what made you want to join dodgeball and then uh, stick with it? Um, <clears throat> yeah, so in um, the first place, I actually wanted to play um, softball in college, but I decided not to. So I wanted to do um, like club softball instead of like NCAA. And Akron pretty much said, if you want to run it, you have to run like the club team yourself because it kind of fell out. So I was like, oh, I don't really want to do that my freshman year. It was like a lot to take on. And I heard about dodgeball because I had a friend in high school whose brother actually played dodgeball. And I remember how fun that um, she said it was for him and how they went to nationals and everything. I was like, oh, that sounds so fun. So, um, yeah, I ended up joining. And then I went to the first couple of practices and it was just like a lot of fun. I think I picked it up pretty quickly. So um, it was fun for me. Plus, I met some um, pretty good friends there, too. So, let me stick around. Um. So, other than softball, what did you play any other sports growing up or in high school? Um. Yeah. So growing up, I danced for ten years, and then I also played um, basketball in high school, along with softball, and then I played volleyball too. So, um, yeah. Plus, I played. Well, I played softball pretty much all growing up since I was little. But yeah. So. And uh, how do you think that that experience helped you in dodgeball? Um, yeah, I definitely think that softball helped because the throwing motions are very similar, like the overhand. So I think it uses a lot of the same muscles. Um, I also think that basketball helped because it helped me be like quick on my feet in dodgeball and like be able to dodge stuff pretty quickly. So. Um, who on the Akron team would you consider to be, like, a mentor to you? Um, I would consider PJ a mentor because I'd say he um, definitely pushes me to be more aggressive. Um, same thing with Matt because I feel like a lot of the time they'll, like, run up and I don't want them to be alone, so then I'll run up. But, like, it also – because I run up, it, like, helps me be more aggressive. Um, I also think that Adam is a very big influence because, like, I'll come to practice thinking I know, like, a lot about dodgeball, and then he'll talk for, like, five minutes, and I'll know, like, so much more. Like, he's he knows so much about dodgeball, and I have so much to learn from him, so. Yeah, he's a very knowledgeable guy. Um, What improvements do you think could be made to the league? Um, I think that there could definitely be improvements on, like, film in the league, because I think that, if we had better film, it would help, like, more people get involved. I feel like we've definitely made steps in the right direction. But um, I think that sometimes, like, they'll just be, like, one camera in, like, the corner of a court and, like, oh, say it gets knocked over or, like, someone stands in front of it or, like, the play's in the corner of the court and the camera doesn't, like, pan because there's no one working it so you can't see the play. So, that, like, if there was coverage on, like, every play or, like, a couple of camera angles or something, I think that would be a lot better for getting people involved. Because, like, I know when, like, there's a cool play, I'll be like, oh, mom, let's look at this. Or, like, oh, like, I'll show my friends who don't play dodgeball. And, like, that could be enough to convince them to play and grow the league. So, yeah. All righty. You, uh, this is your second year playing dodgeball here in the NCDA. Uh, what has been your favorite memory so far? Um, I think my favorite memory was going 3-0 at Pink Out. Um, it was definitely fun to do on our own home turf and very rewarding too. So, yeah, it was a fantastic day. <laughs> um, is there any is there any place that you like to go either before or after a tournament for like a, an after tournament meal? Um, I feel like we've gone to um, Waffle House a lot and also Cracker Barrel afterwards are pretty good places um as far as before usually we don't really go anywhere but um i usually have coffee or something if it's early so 
Um, so what are some of your personal goals as um we go into the second half of the season? Um, yeah, so I feel like um one of my personal goals is to start going for catches like outside of um just like the middle of my body because I feel like catches definitely make or break um a lot of games. So sometimes just like one is enough to like turn the uh, momentum around. So just like by like stepping into catches that are like right next to me instead of just like trying to dodge them because like dodging works like I stay in the game but if I get a catch then like someone else is out too so it's definitely something I need to start doing um so earlier this year in January you guys had uh pretty much the first full official women's tournament uh what was that experience like compared to when you go playing the normal pinch division um, I think that the women's um, tournament was a lot of fun because it gave me the chance to play with, um, like, all the girls from Akron, which I don't really get to do a lot. I mean, yeah, we get to it practice, but, like, a lot of the time we're split up or it's, like, different. And I did get to play with them at that um, one tournament last semester at OU. But um, it was definitely a lot of fun. I think it was a little bit – it was almost, like, slower paced but also faster paced because – it was it was faster paced because the courts are like slower, but I think that the like girls are just kind of a little bit used to the guys just like kind of taking over and like going and like being the ones to push up. That it was like took a second, but I feel like once like we got into the flow of things and like after the first couple games, they definitely started to move a lot faster, and I could see people like starting to take initiative on their teams and stuff like that, which I think is really good for the league because it like uh, made a lot of girls more comfortable. I think so. Yeah, I really liked it, but yeah. So. All right. Um, do you have any predictions for this year's nationals? Um, I definitely think that MSU being the final four. Um, I think there's a really good chance that Akron makes it up there too. I think as long as we have all the pieces together, I feel like a lot of the times, like whenever we lose, we're like, oh, like we were like almost there, but like we weren't because we were just like missing this or missing this or like we did this wrong. I think um, at the end of the day, if we, like, clean all that up, which we definitely have time to before Nationals, um, I think we have a really good chance, so. Um, are there any teams that you have enjoyed playing so far? Any team that you're looking forward to playing? Um, I'm definitely looking forward to playing Ohio State at ODC. Um, I think every time we play them, we just end up coming up, like, just short. And I think that um, with all this, like, not anger against them, but we're all just like, oh, we want to beat them so bad. I think um, we should be able to pull all the pieces together, and um, I'm really excited to play them. Yeah. Um, you were the number one on your jersey. Does that number have any sort of significance to you? Um, so ever since I was little, I always just picked that number because it was my favorite. So um, not really like a big significance, just the fact that when I was little, it was my favorite and I continue to pick it today so that's great um so yeah, I mean that's all I got for you today do you have any comments for anyone watching here um I definitely think that if you're watching this and you aren't involved in dodgeball you know people who aren't involved that you should try to get involved because I think it's like a lot of fun it's definitely like a um a growing sport and I think that it's so fun because you know you come in and people are pretty much all on the same playing field. Like, nobody really has an advantage. Because, like, I know I never touched a dodgeball more than, like, once before actually playing. So, um, I think it's a lot of fun. But, um, yeah. So. Alrighty. Well, Alexis, uh, once again, congratulations. Very well-deserved. Um, hopefully, it is not the last time you win this award. So, uh, yeah, good, just congratulations. Thank you. Alrighty. Have a good one. Thanks, you too.